Hello everybody, welcome to my very first story time animation. So recently, I asked my mum if there were any stupid stories about me that I could use for a video. She had some ideas, but then came to this story I'm telling you now. Yes, I know this isn't a stupid story about me being dumb, and I know that's what you want to watch, but this story that my mum told me sent chills down my spine. This was around 2008, when I was two years old. You know, the age where you're still oblivious to the cruel world we live in. Anyways, my mum and I lived in a house together, but little did we know, it turns out something else was living in this house. It looked like any normal house, but at night, things got really weird. First, let's start off with what my mum saw. So on some nights around the same time, my mum would catch glimpses of someone walking from my bedroom across the hall to the bathroom from the corner of her eye. At first, she thought it was her mind messing with her, but it wasn't until her new boyfriend, who became my stepdad, saw it too. He described exactly what she had been seeing, even though she had never mentioned to him that there was any sort of strange activity in the house because she didn't want to sound like a lunatic. So what both my mum and stepdad saw, or at least what she described to me, was an adult woman with pale white skin, long light brown hair, and in a long white sleeveless nightgown. She explained that my stepdad saw the same thing. But hold up, the video isn't over yet. Let's now talk about what I saw. Yes, I too have had my share of the paranormal. But before I get started, I just wanted to say that I have really bad memory. Like, it's really bad. If I met someone new and don't speak to them for the rest of the day, if I meet them the next day, I'll forget everything about them. I completely forgot what my encounter was like, but I guess it's not really my fault because I was a toddler. But my mum thought the ghost had brown hair and was probably the same age as me, maybe a tiny bit older. So this would happen every once or twice a week, but whenever I would go to bed, just as I was about to doze off, I would see her. She wasn't scary or anything because I wasn't afraid when she was there. You know, normal behaviour when you see a random dead girl in your bedroom at night. Yeah, totally normal. But I guess she was like a sister or a friend. I'm not too sure. All I know is that she wasn't there to hurt me and that this was her room. My mum thinks they were mother and daughter because they both had brown hair and were in the same house together. For my mum, it was horrifying, but to me, I guess I didn't know what fear was back then. But when I kept on seeing the ghost girl, I cried out to my mum. When she came, I said, the girl, the girl, and pointed to where the ghost was. But of course, just like in the horror movies, when a child sees a ghost, the adults can't see it. Except for this time, it's not like the girl from The Grudge or The Shining with intentions to murder people. No. They were just there. My mum noted that even though we had central heating, my room was always at this time of night 5 degrees Celsius lower than the rest of the house, which bothered her and worried her. Now on a more funny note, can you imagine what the ghosts would think? I mean, to them, we'd be the ones living in their house. I mean, since we didn't feel threatened, we didn't really have anything to fear and didn't leave. But we did when something else happened, but my mum doesn't want me talking about it because she doesn't want to give out false information. Mum checked out any kinds of deaths at the time to see if we could find at least a picture of a girl and a woman that looked like the ghosts we've been seeing, but couldn't find anything. She even went back about 200 years, but nothing showed up. My mum was so happy to get out of that place and take me with her, but I didn't know why. But just hearing my mum telling me that story, my brain went full on nope. I immediately started getting scared for no reason and began being a bit more paranoid during the night. But I just reminded myself that the ghost didn't mean us any harm and I calmed myself down and went back to my normal self. I hope you all enjoyed this story. Have any of you have any encounters with the paranormal? I would love to hear them in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye bye.